tell you guys about public school lunches here in South Korea. Um, this video is basically for people who are kind of interested in maybe coming here to work at a public school and just for those of you who are just curious to see what public school lunches are like here in Korea. For those of you who might be interested in coming here to work one day, I do want to mention that you will have to pay for your lunch at your public school. I don't know if that's the case for every single public school but I know for my public school as well as my sister's school we do have to pay a monthly charge to eat lunch at the school. At my school I have the option to not eat lunch and just bring my own lunch then they won't take out money from my paycheck but I decided to go ahead and eat lunch there every day and it's about 70,000 won a month for me and what they do is they just take it out of your paycheck so for me at least I don't even see the money like it's just gone. At first I was kind of like surprised that I had to pay for lunch at my school I just thought that teachers ate for free I don't know why I, I thought that but yeah I thought that we ate for free um, so I was kind of contemplating on if I'm gonna actually pay for that or not so I asked my co-teacher if I could just like pay as I go like if I eat you know three days this week and not eat two days or something like that and she said no so for my school if you decide you're gonna eat you're gonna pay the whole month you can't just like say I'm gonna pay for two days here three days there you can't do that you have to just be like I'm gonna pay for the whole month and I'm gonna eat every day for that month um, if you don't eat you just don't eat but you're still gonna pay for it <laughs> Since I do actually like our school lunches, I just eat every day. Um, I know for some of you all that might not actually like Korean food that much, you're not going to want to eat the lunch every day. Just talk with your co-teacher about that and see if they can like work a little system out for you. And maybe even like the bigger schools, they might have like cards that you scan um, if you eat lunch or not. Okay, so for my school, it is mostly Korean food. Every now and then, they might throw some in to a tortilla and call it a taco but for the most part it's just Korean food every day at my school at least we get rice and soup like you is just not gonna go wrong you just know you're gonna get some type of soup and some rice to go with your lunch the size and the meat will change every now and then and then also like the snacks or the fruit or whatever else they throw in there but for the most part you will get rice and soup we oftentimes get squid I don't know what it is but like I want to say like every two days we get something that's squid based and I'm okay with squid for the most part every now and then I'll look at it and be like I don't know but for the most part I do enjoy like I can eat squid I'm okay with eating squid if you like Korean food you'll enjoy the food at least at my school I can say for my public school the food is pretty flavorful um, I'm not I'm usually not disappointed by lunch one more thing I want to mention before I start sliding some pictures through of some of my school lunches is just that um, most of the school lunches are pretty healthy um, there's every once in a while they might have something fried but for the most part everything is pretty healthy the soups are made with some type of vegetable or there's like a side of vegetables somewhere on the tray so I do really like that especially compared to what um, school lunches were like when I was growing up in America but anyways let me just go ahead and get started um, showing you guys some of these pictures. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a picture up on the screen and then I'm gonna just tell you guys what is on the train, okay? So what foods there are. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start with this picture. As you can see, there is a soup and rice. This soup had some fish in it and some turnip, I believe, I think it's turnips. <laughs> I don't know what it is in English. And then side of some kimchi and some pork and this is uh, some kind of like egg corn jelly. I can't really explain it to y'all, but it's made out of egg corns and then it was just put into a salad, all right? For me, this was a delicious day because I like Korean food and all this Korean food is a business to me. But I know for some of y'all, y'all be like, egg corn jelly? Yeah, it's kind of weird. This was a pretty good day. Also at my school, Wednesdays are considered like good food days. For me, every day is all right. Like every day is pretty good. But supposedly Wednesdays are when it's like really good. So this was a Wednesday and it was curry and rice. So that's curry in the bowl. Instead of like soup, it, it was curry and rice and then this was sweet potato where they put like a glaze of some type of um syrup usually it's just syrup but sometimes it's honey or something like that 
and then they put like black sesame seeds on top and then some chicken legs and then some more like kimchi type stuff all these kimchi's are a little bit different but i'm just gonna call them all kimchi for right now <laughs> This last picture I'm going to show you guys um, just kind of shows how things look a little bit weird sometimes. Um, but so here we have our rice and our soup like usual. The soup in this day on this day was miyakuk, was which is basically seaweed soup. So there's seaweed in there. Sometimes there's pork. I think on this day there was pork, and sometimes there's like clams or oysters or something. Um, and then there's kimchi. This little thing in the middle is like a meatball and then they have french fries on the side. So they just kind of mixed and mingled all kinds of foods together on this day. And then this was a day that we also had a slice of cake. This doesn't happen all the time. Um, usually we get a fruit or maybe some hangwa. Hangwa is basically... I just heard a noise. <laughs> Alright, so hangwa is basically a Korean cookie, like a little Korean traditional snack. But yeah, for the most part, there's not really like a dessert, okay? So yes, those are all the pictures I have of my school lunch. And like I said, for the most part, I enjoy them because I like Korean food. And again, if you don't like Korean food, you just might not like your school lunches and will have to pack your own lunch, which which is okay too. Before I end this video, I do want to mention that maybe for some of y'all, you might look at these pictures and be like, the proportions are a little bit small, or maybe you think it's a lot. But um, you can get seconds. So like at my school, if there are leftovers, they'll like put it on the 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 side the the wall the I don't know what's it called they'll put it on this like counter they'll put it on like a counter and then if you want seconds of anything you just go up there and help yourself so as some of you may already know I've worked at three different types of schools here in South Korea as an English teacher I've worked at an English village uh hagwon which is a private school and now i am working at a public school so with that being said i do plan to make a video just kind of discussing the differences between english village hagwon and the public school what the pros and cons might be just to kind of help some of you out that might be job hunting right now trying to decide which type of school you might be interested in working in i have my own little idea about what i want to say about each school but i also want you guys to comment below any questions you might have about any specific type of school here in south korea um please keep in mind that i can only share with you my experiences there are several different english villages in korea there are several 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 different <laughs> different private schools as well as public schools here in Korea so I can only share my experiences with you so just please comment below any questions you might have about any of these schools so that I can address them in my video about the different types of schools here in South Korea I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to record that but I'm going to try to get it out as soon as possible so just go ahead and keep a lookout for that all right as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All right, you guys, take care, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.